Hey everyone, it's Mark J. Schmidt here with Gloria Zastko Realtors and MoveMeMark.com. I'm excited. Today is day 19 of Mark Madness. Mark Madness is happening all March long and it's where I'm giving you great tips, advice, ideas, suggestions, even some insider information. Everything you can use to make sure your next move is a huge success. Make sure you check back every day on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash MoveMeMark so you don't miss out. But thanks so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. Today, we're going to be talking about what's the difference between a regular standard home sale and buying a bank-owned property or a short sale. So let me go over them real briefly. So with a regular sale, you're buying a home from someone who has equity in the home. Uh, they have been making their mortgage payments. Everything's cool. Nothing going on there. It's just a regular standard sale. A short sale is where the homeowner who owns the home has been having problems. They haven't been able to make the mortgage payments. They uh, are upside down on the home or underwater on the home. And what that means is they owe more on the home than it's worth. So they may have purchased the home at the top of the market. Maybe they didn't have a lot of money down, if any money down when they bought. And now home prices have dropped. Now they're underwater. The home is worth less than what they owe on it. With a short sale, the bank has to agree to take less money, thus a short sale. They're going to be short on their funds. The bank has to agree to take less money to complete the transaction. With a short sale, it is important to understand that the bank has final say on the deal. So even if the homeowner says, you know what, that's great, I'll take that price, the bank can kill the whole deal. And short sales can take a long time. They can take a few months, whereas you know a standard sale, from the time you have a contract to the time you close, it could be about two months. With a short sale, it can go three, four, five, six months. It really depends on how quickly the bank gets all the paperwork they need and how quickly they can process everything. So that's a short sale. With a bank-owned property, this is where the bank has already foreclosed on the homeowner. Now the bank owns the property and they're selling the home. Now it's a little bit easier with a bank-owned property than with a short sale because the bank already owns the property. They don't have to go to the bank for approval. It's already set. Now with both a short sale and with a bank-owned property, you can expect to not get anything done for home inspections. You can have a home inspection, but they're typically just for your education. The bank won't give you any money. Those homes are typically sold uh, as is, where is. So if you find a home and it looks like it's in pretty good shape, you're good to go. If there are some hidden problems with the house, maybe it's got mold behind the walls you didn't know about, it's got radon, whatever, these are things you're going to have to pay for yourself. Now, you can always get out of a deal with a short sale or a bank-owned property. You know, you still have the same rights. You know, you have a, uh, a home inspection and, you know, if, if you don't like what you see, you can back out. But don't expect the bank to do anything for those home inspection issues. And with a short sale, they're not going to have the money to do it anyway. Uh, so that's it for that. Typically, if you're buying a standard sale, they're going to have some room to work with you on those home inspection issues, but not short sales or bank-owned properties. If you have questions on those, please give me a call anytime. You can reach me at 908-705-5110. Uh, but please also check out my website for more information on uh, buying and selling homes, and that's www dot move me mark dot com listen thanks so much for tuning in today i hope to see you tomorrow for more mark madness you have a great day